Now see, today we will start chapter number 7 of standard 9 CBSE. Chapter number 7, the name of the chapter is Triangle. What is the name of the chapter? Triangle. Standard 10th, 9th, sorry, 9 CBSE. Subject Maths, okay? Six chapter about lines and angles we have completed. Now first of all we defined triangle. What do you mean by triangle? See in previous standard also you have learned this definition. Triangle is a closed figure formed by three intersecting lines. What is it? Is a triangle is a closed figure. Form by three intersecting lines, okay? When three intersecting lines intersect each other at three points, they form a triangle. Tri matlab, tri means three, okay? Tri ka matlab hi three hai. So triangle has three angles, triangle has three angles, then three sides and three vertices, okay? Triangle has got this nine measurements, three angles, three sides and three vertices. For example, for triangle A, B, C. A, B, B, C and C, A are three sides. Then angle A, angle B and angle C are three angles. And Kali capital A, capital B and capital C are three vertices. Clear? In chapter 6, we have learned some properties of triangle, right? In this chapter, we will study triangle in detail. Chapter number 6, may we learn few properties. Now, in chapter 7, we are going to study triangle in detail. The following points we are going to cover in chapter number 7. The following points... The following points are included. Here, chapter number 7 may. First point we are going to learn is congruence of triangle. Okay, we are going to learn congruence of triangle. Second thing we are going to learn is rules of congruence. Kya? Rules or criteria. Rules of congruence. Rules of congruence. Okay. Third is some more properties of some more properties triangle. Two property we have learned in chapter number 6. Angle sum property and exterior angle is sum of interior opposite angle. And fourth point we are going to study here is inequalities. Inequalities. 
inequalities in a triangle. Okay? Inequalities in a triangle. First point is congruence of triangle. Okay? First point we are going to discuss just now is congruence of triangle. Now, first of all, what do you mean by congruent figure? Congruency खाली triangle में नहीं होती है. दुनिया की कोई भी geometrical figures, they can be congruent. Hmm? Figures, what do you mean by congruent figures? Figures whose shape and size both are equal. Whose shape and sizes, shape and sizes are same. All congruent figure, okay? For example, circle with same radii. Their center can be different, but circle with same radii are congruent example of congruent figure then atm cards issued by the same bank alag alag bank ke se alag hote hain ek hi bank ke jo atm card hote hain wo they are have they have same shape and same size kisi ka chhota kisi ka bada aisa nahi hota hai Okay, we know that now we are talking about two triangle. We know that two triangles are congruent if their sides and angles, sides and angles of one triangle are equal to the corresponding sides and angle of other triangle. That we have learned. Okay, what do you know about triangle? We know that. Two triangles are congruent if the sides and angle of one sides and angles of one triangle. are equal to the corresponding this corresponding word is very important huh? corresponding sides and angles of of other triangle okay six measures should be equal. But when we are going to learn rules of congruence, and then out of these six, only three are sufficient. Three measures, corresponding measures are equal, then also triangle are said to be congruent. If corresponding ka matlab kya hai? If triangle PQR, this is a sign of congruence. Congruent to triangle ABC. When can we say that triangle PQR is congruent to ABC? Then three corresponding side. PQ corresponds to AB. So PQ covers AB. Okay? PQ corresponds AB. Then QR corresponds or covers BC and RP covers C. Okay. Also, angle P corresponds 
एंगल ए सो एंगल पी कवर्स एंगल ए एंगल क्यू करस्पॉन्ड्स एंगल बी सो इट कवर्स एंगल बी एंड एंगल आर करस्पॉन्ड्स और कवर्स एंगल सी मतलब दैट मीन्स दैट इज देर इज वन वन करस्पॉन्डन्स देर इज वन टू वन करस्पॉन्डन्स बिटवीन दी वर्टाइसिस दैट इज पी करस्पॉन्ड्स ए क्यू करस्पॉन्ड्स बी आर करस्पॉन्ड्स सी वन टू वन करस्पॉन्ड्स हियर वी राइट इन शॉर्ट हियर वी राइट इन शॉर्ट सी पी सी टी मतलब करस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्ग्रेंट ट्राइंगल करस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्ग्रुएंस ट्राइंगल इसका मतलब ये होता है सी पी सी टी का मतलब करस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्ग्रुएंस ट्राइंगल Here we cannot write. Here we cannot write triangle QRP is congruent to triangle ABC because my Q does not corresponds A, R does not corresponds B. There is one one correspondence. P करस्पॉन्स है तो P पहले ही लिखना पड़ेगा Q करस्पॉन्स B तो Q बाद में लिखना पड़ेगा एन C करस्पॉन्स R तो R लास्ट में लिखना पड़ेगा क्लियर करस्पॉन्डेंट का मतलब समझ में आया फर्स्ट विथ फर्स्ट सेकंड विथ सेकंड थर्ड विथ थर्ड नाउ सेकंड पॉइंट रूल्स और क्राइटेरिया फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंस राइट कॉन्ग्रुएंट ट्राइंगल का मतलब समझ में आ गया नाउ क्राइटेरिया और वी कैन से रूल फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल मैंने जैसे बोला ना इंस्टेड ऑफ सिक्स मेजर खाली थ्री आर मोर देन सफिशियंट ऑल सिक्स करने की जरूरत नहीं अपने को ओनली थ्री आर सफिशियंट द क्राइटेरिया कवर्स ओनली थ्री करस्पॉन्डिंग मेजर्स नॉट ऑल सिक्स ओके क्राइटेरिया रूल फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल इन अर्ली ए क्लास यू हैव लर्न फोर क्राइटेरिया याद है आपको फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल देर आर फोर क्राइटेरिया फोर रूल्स फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल You have learned this four like pehla S A S side angle side two side and an included angle A S A two angles and included side or A A S two angle and one corresponding side S S S and R H S these two are वन एंड दी सेम ओके इफ टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल थर्ड इज ऑटोमेटिकली इक्वल सो एवरी एनी साइड एनी करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड वी कॉल इट एच अ इंक्लूडेड साइड ओके सो दीज आर दी फोर रूल्स सम वी कंसिडर ए एक्सम एंड सम वी कंसिडर एज थियरम ओके आउट ऑफ दीज फोर रूल्स सम will be consider as axiom axiom matlab statement which are accepted without proof 
and some will be considered as theorem. Some will be considered as theorem. But as theorem, theorem means they are accepted with proof. But some proof are in your syllabus, some are not in your syllabus. You need not to learn all the proofs, okay? And instead of six measures in these rules, as you said, we have included only three measures. So instead of six measures, six measures, three sides and three angles. Hmm? These rules cover only three major. Instead of six measures, only three measures are sufficient. Are sufficient for congruent triangle, okay? Congruency. Instead of six measures, only three measures are sufficient for congruency of triangle. Okay? First is axiom 7.1. It is called SAS congruence rule. ऐसे ऐसे रूल कैसे लिखा जाता है देखो टू ट्रायंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट टू ट्रायंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट इफ टू साइड्स Two sides and the included angle. Angle of one triangle. Two sides and included angle of one triangle are equal to Two sides and the included angle of of the other triangle, and there should be in a correspondence correspondence. Okay, for example. In triangle ABC and triangle PQR, अगर मुझे SS axiom use करना है, तो क्या होना चाहिए equal AB is equal to PQ, right? BC is equal to QR, and AB और BC का included angle B, and PQ and QR का included angle Q. B is equal to Q. Then I can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Clear? A corresponds P, B corresponds Q, and C corresponds R. AB corresponds PQ, BC corresponds QR. First second, first second, second third, second third, and included which वाला B is equal to उसके बीच वाला Q. This congruent by Q a congruent हो गया by SAS clear SAS axiom okay now theorem seven point one this was axiom we are accepted without proof and the second axiom we call it as a theorem seven point one. It is a s a congruence rule or criteria. 
What does this rule say? Two triangles. are congruent if two angles and the included side side of one one triangle are equal to two angles and the included included side of other triangle This is a theorem. So first I draw the figure. Right? Pahle mein kya banaungi? Triangle ABC and PQR. A, B, C. Dusra triangle mein banaungi. A, B, C and P, Q, R. Clear? D, F, D, I. Sorry, sorry. We are taking D, F, okay? E, E, F. What is given? Theorem में तो हमको given भी लिखना पड़ेगा, to prove भी लिखना पड़ेगा. If any construction, that also you should write down. Then we should start writing proof. Okay? Given data में क्या दिया है? In triangle A, B, C and triangle d e f what is given angle b is equal to angle e and angle c is equal to angle f not only that we are given included side that is b c is equal to e f clear this three things given angle b is equal to angle e angle c is equal to angle f double line kiya par to pata chalega ye dono angle double line ka clear a, B is equal to E, C is equal to F and B, C is equal to E, F. A notation dikh raha. This is given data. Now what is to prove data? To prove data is triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle D, E, F. That is what I want to prove. For proof, For proving the following three cases arise. For proving the following three cases arise. We are proving this statement by taking three cases. For proving the following three cases arise. What are the three cases? Case number one hai. Let AB is equal to 
डी केस नंबर टू है ए बी ग्रेटर देन डी केस नंबर थ्री है ए बी लेस देन डी ओके फॉर केस नंबर वन यू सी फिगर वन जो मैंने बनाई है ओके फिगर वन जो ऊपर मैंने बनाई है ना इसको भी कॉल इट एज अ फिगर वन दिस इज माय फिगर वन ओके फिगर वन इज सफिशिएंट फॉर प्रूविंग केस नंबर वन केस नंबर वन में फिगर वन You can see in figure one in triangle ABC and triangle DEF. I have assumed AB is equal to D, so I will write AB is equal to D. Okay? क्या? This we have taken case. Then angle B is equal to angle E. Given. Okay? Given. And not only that, you are given BC is equal to EF. That is also given. Okay. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by SAS rule. हो गया proof. Okay. Now case number two. केस नंबर टू इज लेट ए बी ग्रेटर देन डी सी फिगर टू आई ड्रॉ फिगर टू आई ड्रॉ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी विथ ए बी ग्रेटर देन डी ओके This is my A, B, C. This is my D, E, F. Okay. This angle is B given. B is equal to given as E. C is equal to F. Clear. And A B greater than D. That is given. So we are taking a point P on AB in such a way so that BP is equal to D. Okay, join P and C. Okay. तो क्या लेंगे हम? Proof में take point P on AB such that. PB is equal to D. Okay. Now in triangle PBC and triangle DEF. What is given? PB is equal to D by construction. Region is by construction. Then angle B is equal to angle E. Given, clear. And BC is equal to EF. Clear. Upper bar rakho nahi rakho chalega. That is also given. Therefore. Triangle PBC is congruent to triangle DEF by SAS rule. Okay, right, right. Therefore, angle AC PCB. Is equal to angle DEF. Why CPCT? Triangles are congruent, so their corresponding parts 
remaining corresponding points parts must be equal but we are given that kya diya hai humko angle acb is equal to also angle df so if i combine both of them i will get that implies angle pcb is equal to angle acb this is only possible this is only possible when p coincide with p coincides with a clear or i can say ba is equal to ed clear clear therefore triangle abc is congruent to triangle def even for case number 2 also i have proved by sas rule clear now case number 3 same method for case number 3 let ab less than d matlab d is greater than ab so see figure 3 isme hum point p kahan lenge d par let us draw the figure A B C. क्लियर फिगर बना दिए मैंने सेम आर्ग्यूमेंट क्लियर क्या करेंगे इसमें हम ये हमारा फिगर थ्री है हियर टेक पॉइंट एम ऑन डी सच दैट M is equal to AB. Clear? Now in triangle ABC and triangle MEF. Clear? AB is equal to ME. by construction okay okay then angle b is equal to angle e given and not only that bc is equal to ef that is also given therefore triangle abc is congruent to triangle mef by sas rule that implies एंगल ए सी बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल एम एफ ई बट हियर सी पी सी टी बट एंगल ए सी बी इज गिवन एज एंगल डी एफ ई देर फॉर बोथ टूगेदर इम्प्लाइज एंगल एम एफ ई 
is equal to angle D F E. This is only possible if M coincides with D. Therefore, triangle ABC, M coincide with D. So, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by SAS rule. SAS rule is axiom. Axiom we are using for proving theorem 7.1. Clear? If NOT not, ASA and AAS are same. उसका एक्सप्लेनेशन दे रही हूं मैं इफ इन दी अबाउ थियरम टू एंगल्स एंड वन पैर ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड्स one pair of corresponding sides sides okay are equal but sides is not included side is not included then also triangles are triangles are congruent जरूर नहीं है कि included side होनी चाहिए okay why why sides are triangles are said to be congruent because h two pairs of angles as two pairs of angles are equal are equal third pair is going to be equal third pair of angle are also equal right third pair of angles are always equal by angle sum property sum of three angle is 180 so two pair of angles corresponding are congruent are equal then third pair is automatically always equal so of triangle so AAS rule is also valid. Included नहीं है तो भी चलेगा. Okay? Are you clear? ASA and AAS rule are one and the same. Now I write AAS rule. Okay? AAS rule. कैसे लिखा जाता है टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट इफ एनी टू पेयर्स ऑफ एंगल्स and one pair of corresponding sides are equal two triangles are congruent if any two pair of angles and one pair of corresponding sides are equal uske liye zaruri nahi hai ki it should be included okay side is not included then also it will do 
Now we are going to learn two important properties in form of theorem 7.2, theorem 7.3. Both are based on properties. Okay? Clear? First theorem, theorem 7.2 says angles opposite to equal sides of an isosceles isosceles triangle are equal Angle opposite to equal sides of an isosceles triangles are always equal. So, what is given data here, you know? You write down what is given and what is to prove. Your given data here is in triangle ABC. AB is equal to AC. And what I want to prove AB ka opposite angle C and AC ka opposite angle B. So B is equal to angle C. Construction kya karenge isme? Dekho. First I draw construction. Dekho hum fale figure bra banate hai. क्या बनाते हैं फिगर इधर? I draw triangle A B C, okay? Okay? This is my A B C. Which side A B is equal to A C? Construction में I draw angle bisector of A. Let it meet my BC at D. Okay? So, these two angles are going to be equal. This angle and this angle are going to be equal. Okay? Construction mein hum karenge. Draw the bisector of angle A and let it meet BC at D. Clear? Now proof. Proof ke liye hum kya karenge? Hum do triangle lenge. BAD and CAD. BAD and CAD. Do triangle lenge. Usme AB is equal to AC. AD is equal to AD common. And angle BAD is equal to angle CAD. Clear? So by SAS, two triangles are said to be congruent. When two triangles are said to be congruent, their corresponding angles are equal. So angle B must be equal to angle C. Clear? Proof summon me aya apko. Abam karte hai proof. प्रूफ में हम लिखेंगे इन ट्रायंगल बीएडी एंड ट्रायंगल सीएडी एबी इज इक्वल टू एसी ओके गिवन एंगल बीएडी इज इक्वल टू एंगल सीएडी by construction, okay? And AD is equal to AD. Clear? Common. Therefore, triangle ABAD is congruent to triangle CAD by SAS rule. Okay? Therefore, angle B is equal to angle D. Angle B is equal to angle 
C. Why? C B C D. When triangles are congruent, their corresponding angles are going to be equal. Okay. Angle B is equal to angle C. Clear? Now, theorem number 7.3 is a converse of theorem number 7.2. Theorem number 7.2 may sides are equal then, its opposite angles are equal. Here, this is nothing but converse of theorem 7.2. Its proof आपके कोर्स में नहीं है मगर मैं फिर भी करवाती हूं ओके दी साइड्स ऑपोजिट टू इक्वल एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल आर इक्वल ओके पहले हम फिगर बना देंगे ट्रायंगल दोनों एंगल इक्वल है ये तुम्हारा एंगल बाय सेक्टर है एक ए एक ए ओके एंड आपको प्रूव करना है ए बी इज इक्वल ए सी व्हाट इज गिवन नाउ टेल मी व्हाट इज योर गिवन डेटा Given data is given for to prove and construction. Okay, same. उसमें ऐसे ऐसे प्रूव किया इधर हम A A A S A से करेंगे. Okay, clear? A A S से करेंगे. चलो given में क्या? In triangle A B C you are given angle B is equal to angle C. What you want to prove? You want to prove AB is equal to AC. What is construction? Draw the bisector Draw the bisector of angle A and let it meet BC at D. Clear? Now, proof to jaise usme kiya tha waise hi. Proof. प्रूफ में हम क्या करेंगे इन ट्रायंगल बी ए डी इन ट्रायंगल बी ए डी एंड ट्रायंगल सी ए डी व्हाट इज गिवन एंगल बी ए डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी ए डी बाय कंस्ट्रक्शन ओके देन एंगल ए डी बी is equal to angle A, D, C. Proved? Kaise proved kiya hai? Dekho. Ne, B is equal to C. Sorry. Ye toh hum baad mein proved karenge. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ye toh proved karna hai abhi. Pahle hum kya karenge? BAD is equal to CAD by construction angle B is equal to angle C given right that implies angle ADB is equal to angle ADC Q बाय एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी दो एंगल इक्वल है तो तीसरा एंगल भी इक्वल आएगा बाय एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ओके तो इंक्लूडेड एंगल लाना है तो फिर ये एंगल प्रूव करना पड़ेगा अब फिर से मैं करती हूं इन ट्रायंगल 
BAD एंड ट्राइंगल CAD क्या लेंगे हम एंगल BAD इज इक्वल टू एंगल CAD बाय कंस्ट्रक्शन फिर एंगल ADB इज इक्वल टू एंगल ADC प्रूव दो एंगल आए और इसकी इंक्लूडेड साइड कौन सी आई एडी इज इक्वल टू एडी क्लियर समझ में आया देर फॉर ट्राइंगल बी ए डी इज कॉन्ग्रून टू ट्राइंगल सी ए डी क्यू बाय ए एस ए रूल क्लियर इंक्लूडेड साइड करने के लिए ये सब किया नहीं करती तो भी चलता क्लियर देर फॉर दैट इम्प्लाइज क्या आएगा ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए सी सी पी सी टी क्लियर बाय सी पी सी टी क्लियर हो गया सो दैट कंप्लीट योर थियरी ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन